Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. It's finally upon us, and it's almost been a full week since the release, so I thought I'd make this little video just to kind of share my thoughts and feelings about it um, with this first week and things like that. Going into the game, I was very much like a lot of fighting game fans, or at least Marvel vs. Capcom fans, and very timid, I guess you could say about it, or scared just because of the roster. The roster seems to be still the biggest thing that I don't have a, not a problem with, but it's the biggest hang up, I guess you could say. Whenever I boot up this game and I'm staring at the roster, there's nobody that screams to me, play me. It's kind of just like, here's some people, go for it, you know, and I don't feel any kind of connection with any of them quite yet. Um, I've been playing Zero. I'm, I played a Zero Hulk team the other day. That was pretty fun. Cap and Ryu I played in three, so I'm picking them up again. But, um, well, I didn't pay. Yeah, no. Mega Man, kind of cool. Strider I've tried here and there. But, like, I don't know. There's nobody that's really screaming out to me. And I know there's not a lot of new characters, so that kind of could uh, play into it. I'm, in, I'm excited for the new characters. I'm excited for the DLC, Venom, Black Panther. Winter Soldier, uh, Black Widow, Sigma, and Monster Hunter. I'll probably play out of all of them because I, I enjoy Winter Soldier in the movies. I'll probably play Winter Soldier, probably Panther as well. As for the rest, I mean Venom, I kind of dabbled into, but wasn't great with them. So, you know, we'll see. Um, I was excited for the story mode. Story mode is alright. I mean, it wasn't the greatest story in the world, but, like, I enjoyed it and I thought it was fine. There was one those boss battles where it's 2v1 or 1v1, yeah, they sucked kind of, but that was alright. Uh, mission mode cool, arcade mode cool, gameplay wise, it is great. I do enjoy the gameplay, that's, I mean, a very important aspect, obviously. Um, it's different enough that it feels new, but it also is similar at the same time, like, it feels like a Marvel game, and that's what we want. The new, well, not the new, the re- Emergence of the gem system, I think, is good. It keeps it fresh, and that's what changes it up from the 3v3 teams. So, it's weird, weird limbo we're in. Because I understand, like, if you avoid this game because of roster. Totally understand that. I see why you bought this, or I understand why you bought this game if you're a Marvel fan. Totally understand that. It's that weird limbo of, do we voice our opinion with our wallets by not paying for this game because of the garbage roster or you know whatever you, your feelings are about the roster or because this franchise was in trouble and we want more marvel do you buy it and hopefully you know make this a continuation i get that limbo it's a weird spot for everybody and that's honestly nobody can make that decision obviously except for you so i hope for more marvel in the future if it, it gets past these six DLC characters and goes with another pack, I'd be fine with that. If it goes into Marvel Infinite 2, which they kind of set up for the story, and we get a much better game, I'm down with that. I don't want this franchise to die this way. Not that I want it to die in general, but, like, I feel... <clears throat> I don't know. I just... I want more Marvel, but don't want it to end this way. I don't know, guys. But uh, that's my basic thoughts on Marvel Infinite. Um, if you've played it or you're a fan, let me know down below what you think, um, and I'll follow up with you guys. But we, we will be playing it more on stream. I do want to hashtag get good at it. Um, we'll play some online and things like that, so you can check it out over there. But remember, like, comment, subscribe, all those things. You know the deal. Um, and thank you guys for watching. Everybody, peace out.